All right, welcome back to LearnWire. In today's video, we'll be doing a review on Chopcast. This is one of the deals that I picked up with Black Friday. Unfortunately, the Black Friday sale for AppSumo ends today at the time of recording this. You pretty much will have a few hours left. The good news is, is that if you are a Plus member, then you'll have more time. I believe you'll have more time, a couple days, two or three days to still pick up these deals. So. I'm not 100% sure about that because it does say it ends on November 29th around noon central time, but they may, usually they will honor deals for a couple of days for plus members. So you'll just have to, the time that comes, hopefully you're seeing this right when it, the video comes out. Nonetheless, uh, I wanted to do a review on this anyways. So Chopcast, there's some other tools out there. There's Descript and then um, another one is content fries. There's a couple other tools out there. There's a repurpose.io. So a couple other tools do come to mind that are in the same space as Chopcast. But of course, when a deal comes like uh, to AppSumo of a tool that I think I can use in my business, because I, my whole business has run around creating video, video content, Chopcast is going to allow us to be able to chop up those long form pieces of content. And you guys know, I make long videos, 20 plus minutes, generally speaking on my videos. It'll be able to chop it up into, you know, 30 second clips. And then I can go and repurpose that, right? I can go and use that for social media, Instagram, TikTok. It could be Facebook, YouTube shorts, et cetera. So this is Chopcast. At the time of recording, uh, again, apologize. I tried to get as many of these reviews out of these uh, Black Friday pieces of software that uh, hit AppSumo during Black Friday. I don't have the information as an affiliate. I don't have the information if Chopcast is going to stick around for a while uh, on AppSumo. I hope they do. So you guys will have a chance to pick up the, the tool, even if you don't get the extra 10% off. But nonetheless, if you want to go pick it up and you the it's still available on AppSumo, there will be a link below to go uh, check that out. All right, so let's get into everything on this on this software right here. So I kind of already explained what it does. I don't really need to explain anything else. Content creators, uh, marketers, podcasters, just like I said, it's an, uh, an alternative to Descript. There's headliner.app. Um, that's a one that I'm not aware of, but that's another one that is out there as well. Uh, integrations, YouTube, and so forth. So some cool stuff. Now I'm going to be diving into this without having used the software. So this, it's been a while since I've done that, where it's really kind of like an unboxing software review, where I don't really know how to use the software, but we're going to take a look at it from a brand new user's standpoint. I This is how I began this channel. I really like doing these kind of reviews, but generally speaking lately, I usually check the software out and so forth before I actually kind of dive into the software. So uh, you guys can pause the video right there, read, you know, what you get, create short form, create your own clips. I really like that you're able to upload your own, you can just take a, you can just take a URL from your YouTube video and use it that way. It can go and actually basically downloads the video from YouTube, or you can upload it um, from your, your computer as well. So we have tier one, tier two, and tier three. When we look at the pricing for Chopcast on AppSumo, 180 uploads uh, minutes per month, unlimited users, uh, exports and storage. So they're not going to mess around with how many users you get to give access to. It's really about the minutes because that's what's going to take the most uh, bandwidth and server space for for them. So they really just kind of judge how much they're gonna charge people based on how many minutes they're going to process. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Pretty much any software that is doing something similar to this is going to basically charge the same as well. So I look at mine and, and let's just say I did wanna use this for every video. If I take out a calculator, and I have on average a 25 minute video, right? And then I create, let's just say I cre create 20 per month. So times 20. So we're going to have 500 minutes of processing time. So tier two would not work for me. And this is just one channel, right? Uh, so when it comes down to it, you have to, that's how, that's an easy way to kind of check uh, which tier you need. If you're only running one YouTube channel and you're averaging a 10 minute video, and then you, you're putting out 20 per month, then you only need 200 minutes of processing. So you definitely would need the tier two. Um, I really probably wouldn't pick up licensed tier one on this. I would definitely go for licensed tier two or licensed tier three. 
I went ahead and got licensed tier three because this is enough to cover like two YouTube channels for me, you know, with big videos and so forth. So I picked up licensed tier three on this because I believe I'm going to use this tool. You can go and look at reviews and so forth. What are their reviews at right now? Currently we're looking at some pretty decent reviews of someone screaming and they love the they love the tool right there. Let me come over here real quick. So it's looking like it's at about a 4.2 out of five with just 13 reviews. I'm not going to go bother and read. It may, I don't know what the disconnect is, but like I said, anything over four, you know, and over 10 reviews, uh, I'm okay with definitely okay with picking the tool up and checking it out as well. I don't really know. I, I'd have to go do some more searching for what is kind of why it doesn't have a, a, a five-star rating, but Let's go dive into the software. So here's what the software looks like. It's really, really, you can see it's really simple when you log in and you can see I got that 1200 minutes right here. Let me go back over here just to make sure that I got what I was supposed to. So yeah, 1200 minutes and I come back over here and we're at 1200 minutes. So I'm gonna get 1200 minutes per month. I don't think anything rolls over. So it's just gonna reset each month. That's fine. It looks like they do have a chat feature right here, which is cool. I don't know if it's uh, got AI and then you can get a support question, watch video demo, book an onboarding call right there. So it's probably an automated bot. I'm not sure if you support question. If I click that, what's your email? Yeah, so it looks like they're answering uh, emails and things like that, so that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna come through over here and there's really not a whole lot to look at is just we're in folders right here we need to upload a video so i'm going to go and actually upload a video and this is where you can go and browse and pick a file from your computer or you can go and upload from youtube and i think that the upload video from youtube because you already finished a video it's already polished and everything that's the video that you're going to want to you're probably not going to want to go searching on your computer especially if you're gonna use the software to pull up videos that you've already done in the past, it's gonna be easier to just go pull up your channel over here. So when we come over to channel, and you look at all the different videos right over here, I'm gonna go see if I can find one that's a shorter video, like SiteGround, SEMrush, let's see right over here. Let's see, most of my videos are 20 minutes or more. Um, I'm gonna look over here at SiteGround review. So I'm gonna pull this video up real quick. Push pause. And then I'm going to go grab this link from the YouTube video. I'm going to come back over here to Chopcast. And let's see, auto-generate clips. You can turn it on or off. You can toggle that. But we definitely want to, I want to get the clips and see what it's going to do for us. So we're going to paste the link right here. And then we're going to push the upload button. Now they say that this can take between three and five minutes. I mean, it probably shouldn't take too long because it's a 12-minute video. But... Most of my videos at 20 plus minutes is probably going to take a little bit of time. Now you're going to see that it's already processing the video. We can view, we can do clips over here, but you can see right here that it says zero, right? So this zero right here means that it hasn't processed any clips <clears throat> yet for us. Uh, it's going to create, it's going to, it uses artificial intelligence to decide how many clips it's going to pull out of the video. You can see 13 minutes and four, uh, 54 seconds right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and then we'll come back in just a second and look at this number change because then we're gonna need to push the refresh button. So we'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it will look like when your clips are done. It took about five minutes or so. Your clips uh, from SiteGround Review, professional website hosting. So it gives you the title of what your video was are ready. And so it's gonna tell you right there, you can click uh, the link here, it'll take you over there to Chopcast, or you can just go into Chopcast and push the refresh button up here, push the refresh button right there. And then you can see it uh, from that 13, almost 14 minute clip or video, it gave us eight clips. So we can come over here. I wanna look at the clips section over here. So here are all the clips that it already uh, created for us. I think that's really cool that it's going out and creating these clips automatically for us. I wanna go and check out what some of these are. Let's see if what the three dots do. So we three dots, we can duplicate, we can edit the video. We'll go into that in a minute or we can delete. Okay, so I'm gonna go and check one of these out by clicking right here, view. And this is the video clip that it created right here. I'm not sure if these are the other clips right there. It created eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, those are all the clips over here. You can export this, you can edit this, and you can uh, exit out. So I'm gonna push pause on my mic or mute my mic, and then we can look at this real quick. And I believe that those are basically the same thing. Even, I mean, I guess WordPress hosting, they're just, it's kind of like, 40% of the web, something like that, uses WordPress. 
So they're going to be typing in WordPress. And this is just, this is hosting's kind of way of trying to rank their websites for and provide WordPress hosting, but it's a private server. I'm not going to go too much into that. It's just shared hosting. You're going to be sharing. But here's the thing you've got to realize is that this hosting that you're paying for and getting this amazing discount on, and I recommend going with the grow plan, the grow big plan. And that's what I'm, I'm currently on a dollar bill. So you just need to, I will leave a comment below if you made it this far. If you want a full blown tutorial, this is more of a review. I'm just showing you the pricing, showing you, telling you about my experience, showing you that I do. Okay, I'm back. So just wanted to show you some of the clips that it created. It's pretty cool. Also kind of gives you some text that is inside of those clips. So you have an idea. So what I noticed was that the first three clips were all kind of on the same screen. So I probably would only, if I was going to post this to social media, I would probably only use one of those clips. And then I would use one over here where I'm actually inside the software and so forth. So what you can do now is you can actually go over to edit right here. And we can edit this video and you can see it already transcribed the entire section for us right here. And if we go through right here and we want to make this longer or shorter, watch what happens up here to the transcription. So if I shorten this clip, it's going to uh, shorten the text right here. So I go over like that. It's going to be a really short video clip right there, or we can make it a longer video clip like that as well. So it's actually pretty cool. It's really uh, easy to use, very self-explanatory. And if you have like Grammarly installed um, for, if you were gonna use this text in any way, uh, you can actually go in here and actually uh, do some, some edits as well. So really cool stuff. You also can push play over here and you'll see uh, the video right there as well. This is where you can go in and you can turn subtitles on or off. The button right here to submit changes and so forth. Um, not really sure, I guess this right here, the, the subtitles, if we change the font to something else, maybe there we go. It's going to change. It's going to actually change the font to the transcription. So that's really cool. You can also adjust the words per line. That's really thoughtful. So you can actually make it more words on the line words per line. So it's going to be a little, uh, bigger like that. And then you can add text over here. If you wanted to say, add something like this, and you're going to be able to move this around on the screen right here. And we can also make this a lot bigger if we wanted to, we can change the color as well. You can change the background color as well, right there. And you can actually specify different speakers right here as well. I'm not going to really go into that right there, but I wanted to I'm not seeing where this changed the size for us. I'm not sure where the size is changing because the size of the text isn't changing right there. Mm, let's see, I'm seeing where the update button is either. Okay. So that is the basic editing. You can also come in here and add images. That's really cool. Oh, okay. So once we clicked off that, then it did, um, the size of the text did change. Okay. So then you have images. You could actually go and drag and drop some of your ed images right here. It does look like that it's um, just pulling up your own images. I'm sure that it'd be cool if they could add a feature in here where we could search, you know, Pexels, Unsplash, Pixabay, et cetera. Back to clips over here. And then finally, if you wanted to resize this, we come over here and they have the one by one over here. You can crop or fit. That would be like for Instagram, a square video. Let's go ahead and just say fit. So it's going to fit inside of that square right there. We can go to resize and we can also click the crop button and push up apply so that it's going to crop the video out, but it's going to completely form it to the full size of the video of the, the canvas, if that makes sense. And we'll go over here and look at the nine by 16, what the crop looks like. It's going to crop it like this. I you that I do have we can 13, come look. what was it? 13 sites hosted with SiteGround. And this is the easiest for definitely a huge added bonus that they also not bad. And then if we want to go to resize right here and then just go with fit, then it's going to, you know, put it right there on the screen. And then you would probably want to come over here to the uh, subtitles in this case, and you probably would want to make them uh, bigger. So we'd come back over here maybe like a 30 and we would probably take this down and I'm not sure why it's like kind of like tangled up like that. We'll come back in a sec. 
we'd have to play around with the size. So we'd probably have to take this size down, I think. All right, so you would do something like that. I'm not seeing where we could, oh, okay, yeah, we can move this up to the top or anywhere we want. That's really cool. I would just go like something like that. I'd fool around with it a little bit more because I'd want to try to fill up this whole blank space right here with the subtitles and then put like maybe a call to action right here and then we push play and- you that I do you know, have 13. These work well too. People can still see the screen. It's really and more the for e the audio or something like that or they can even just read what's going on on the screen. So you have to figure out if you would want it to be cropped or not. Definitely going to be a different look if we go like that, or if we, if we go with the crop apply, then it's going to look like this, right? So you're going to want to kind of position this where you want as well. So those are the basic edits that you can do. Um, I like it. Really, really simple to use. When you're done with the clip, then all you have to do is just push the export button. You can export it as an MP4, an MP3, just the audio, an SRT or a text uh, file as well. If you want to use this as, you can actually use this just as transcription to go and create blog posts from your videos as well. There's so many things you can do with this. And that's why this tool seems like it can be, have a, definitely have a place in my business. I have this uh, right now where we want to, so burn subtitle on or off. So you, that's really cool. You can just turn that on or off. I think for these kind of videos, uh, burning it on is pretty good. And then we would just go to start export. So it's going to go and just export the uh, MP4 for us. Our job is being processed. And then I'm sure, I don't know if we would get an email when this is done or not. And look at that. It's already done with the 30 second clip. It took, you know, 15 seconds, maybe. And then we can go and open this up and see what it looks like. Okay. So the video wouldn't play, but I think I know why. When you come up here to the export button, these have to be in yellow. That means that the video and the edits and everything that you've done are fully processed. And so as you could see, if you go back, these were still in black color. So that's why it didn't transcode the video and it just didn't work. So let's go try it again. MP4, it's in yellow right now. And this is where you click right here. I'm just going to say download right there. And then I'm going to go and we're going to test this out right now. And it looks like it's loading. No, that didn't work either. That's super funny. Telling you that I do have 13. Right, so here 13 it is. I just opened it up in a different program right and here. And this is the easiest. Uh, uh, and there, there's the uh, video right there. So all in all, really simple software to use. So we can go back over here. This is what it's going to look like. You can create different folders. Here's that video again. You can view, you can look at your clips. It's going to tell you how many clips were created. You can go at any time and look at all the different clips. And depending on how much you want to go into it, you can go into each video and edit them and then download them, or you can just use what they already created for you and so forth. So simple. I think that there's a lot more that they're going to probably do to this software. I think it's uh, definitely in its early stages. I think that there's a lot more things that they can do with this software, but right out of the gates, I do think this is a very useful software, at least if you're into creating video content and you're uh, on YouTube or on any other social media platforms, pretty cool software. If you guys want to go pick this up, like I said, it's available at the time of recording this for just a few hours. I wanted to get this out a couple of days ago. It just didn't happen. Hopefully Chopcast is going to stick around. I'm hoping that they'll stick around for a while to give you guys the opportunity to go pick up this lifetime deal if you guys need a tool like this. All right. So that's my Chopcast review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The link will be below if you want to go and pick it up and I'll see you in the next video.